Hello, my name's Benjamin Hendrickson. I'm a cardiologist here at Le Bonheur who takes care of adults and children with congenital heart disease. And I'm here today to talk to you about COVID-19 vaccination and patients with congenital heart disease. Yes, the COVID-19 vaccinations are both safe and effective. There are uh, three that are available here in the United States, and one is approved by the FDA to be used in children 12 and up. All of them have demonstrated safety and efficacy for preventing illness with the coronavirus that causes COVID-19. Some patients with congenital heart disease are at greater risk of more serious illness or complications from COVID-19. Some patients who aren't as well, for example, they may have been in the hospital for heart failure, their oxygen saturations are very low, or they have other medical problems like kidney disease, or they are overweight or have diabetes, are at greater risk of complications from uh, COVID-19. Patients with congenital heart disease are not specifically at greater risk of side effects from the vaccine. They should have the same risk for side effects as anyone else who receives the vaccine, which would include soreness in the arm where they get the injection, some muscle ache around where they get the injection, maybe fatigue, maybe fever, maybe chills. All of these symptoms tend to resolve after a couple of days. Whether or not you have congenital heart disease, your risk of being hospitalized, having a severe complication, or dying from COVID-19 far exceeds your risk of any serious complication, including myocarditis, from vaccination for COVID-19. We do not see this more often in patients with congenital heart disease, we, it's known to affect young men more than young women with the disease occurring or the side effect occurring typically three to four days after the second dose. And they're treated many as an outpatient and get better without long-term consequences. Things a person with congenital heart disease should look out for after getting vaccinated for COVID-19 are the same as anyone who doesn't have congenital heart disease should pay attention to after getting vaccinated. If you're concerned that you're having any more severe side effects that might be related to the vaccine, you should get in touch with your healthcare provider, either your primary care doctor or another doctor immediately. If you have a child with congenital heart disease who's too young to be vaccinated, the best protection for that child is for everyone around him or her to get vaccinated. Currently, the FDA only has one vaccination approved for ages 12 and up. However, in the near future, potentially before children go back to school in January, there may be other vaccines that are approved by the FDA for children 12 and up, or even younger ages. I recommend vaccination for all of my patients with congenital heart disease to prevent serious complication, illness, or death from COVID-19. The vaccines are all very safe and highly effective at preventing serious illness and death. And for those with concerns about side effects, we are always available to discuss and counsel patients before or after vaccination.